detailing geek here. Today I want to show you how to wash your car when it's hot out and still be able to wash it by hand in your driveway and do it correctly so that you don't get any marring on your paint. Um, the first thing you want to do product wise is uh, go out and get yourself a decent uh, spray uh, nozzle so that you have something to use. Um, products we're going to be using today is uh, stuff from Poor Boys World. Uh, I mentioned it on the website. Go check it out. Uh, it's called uh, Super Slick and Suds, and it's definitely a good product. Um, it'll help you wash your car without stripping any of the wax or uh, anything else off. Um, the other thing you want to definitely get yourself is a decent uh, wash mitt. Uh, this is sheepskin. It washes your car, holds a lot of soap, um, much better than a dish rag or a towel or something like that. So, the other product that I mentioned on the website is a Brit Guard, um, and that is these things. Basically, what that does is allow you to rinse your mitt in the water after you wash your dirty car, and what it does is it lets the grit settle to the bottom, that way you're not reintroducing the dirt onto the sponge or the wash mitt and then re-washing your car with it. So they're just um, like basically these plastic things. They're pretty cool. Um, they're cheap and nothing here is really very expensive. Uh, the grit guards are cheap. These are just some old buckets. Um, the poor boy stuff is uh, rather inexpensive, and the wash mitt was like, I don't know, five bucks. Um, so anyway, this is our test subject. This is my wife's 2010 uh, Ford Fusion, and we just took a road trip, so it's uh, pretty dirty. So we'll get to washing here. So what I, what I want to mention too is um, what I like to do is fill the bucket half full with water first before I put the soap in. That way you're not putting a lot of water in there with the soap and it gets real sudsy and you can't get any water in it because um, this stuff really is concentrated and it really suds up nice.